Hi and welcome, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or blog for another card tutorial. In this video, I share how I used one 6x6 piece of pattern paper along with one large balloon die to create two cards. I die cut the large balloon using Simon Says Stamp balloon dies and then using my paper trimmer, I cut the balloon in half. I'm getting started by creating a stenciled cloud background. I lay the stencil onto a card panel, add ink to a blender brush, then with a light pressure start about halfway down the stencil and I swipe the blender brush in an upward motion trying to keep it straight. And you'll notice I'm not working in a circular motion because this is printer paper I die cut to create a quick stencil and working in a circular motion will cause the paper to bend. The reason I start so far down the stencil is to ensure I don't have any blotchy spots in the ink when applying it. I continue this process working through all the colors, Deep Sea, Audrey Blue, and Sea Glass from Simon Says Stamp. So the next step, I want to place my ink blended backgrounds into my Misty so that I can stamp the sentiments. I'm using the sentiment Hugs, Kisses, and Rainbow Wishes from the Honey Bee Stamps Rainbow Wishes stamp set. And I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp it. I wanted to add a little note here that all of the products that I've used during the video will be linked below for you. And you will also be able to find them in my blog post as well. So for the second background, I use a Happy Birthday Sentiment from Simon Says Stamp and VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Once I have the sentiment stamped, I layer the inked backgrounds onto sea glass cardstock and adhere to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. So here is the half of our balloon and I'm just tying some th silver thread around each balloon. I've already added 3D mounting foam to the back of the balloons and I'm going to let this uh, silver thread just kind of loop around the edges of each balloon adhering itself to the 3D mounting foam. And then once we have that done, we're just going to adhere the balloon to the edge of the card. I've used a couple of pieces of white scrap paper and I've die cut some tiny little clouds using the Simon Says Stamp Storybook Sky Background. I add 3D mounting foam to the back of each cloud. I add the clouds to the cards by placing one cloud by itself and then pairing the other two together. So I'm going to finish off each card with these gorgeous Honeybee Stamps Carousel Lights Confetti. This is the perfect bling for any rainbow card. Look at all of those beautiful colors up there. So I'm just going to, as always, randomly place these sequins and I'm going to adhere them with some glossy accents. So I do believe that will give us a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me today and that you'll give this a try sometime. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. Be sure to, to subscribe to my website to have access to my videos before they're published to the public. As always, know I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and until next time my crafty friends, keep crafting.